Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got a super cool uh, knife unboxing video to share with you guys. This is something that I purchased for me, something I'm gonna be putting in my own personal collection. Uh, this is a dealer exclusive. It's something that came from, uh, came from Crane's Cutlery. People always ask me about uh, these types of knives. Where do you get these? Um, and I've been trying to tell people, Crane's Cutlery. Uh, they have really awesome exclusives. And if this one isn't for you, I can almost guarantee they'll have one in the future that will be. So make sure you check out Crane's Cutlery down in the description. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. I did pay for this. I just came out of my own pocket, um, but uh, as soon as I found out these were going to be made, I just couldn't say no. <laughs> this will actually be the third variant of this knife that I own, um, but uh, it's it's pretty cool. So let's see here. We got to get through. <laughs> we got to get through multiple layers here first, and yeah, just uh, just a little bit of tape here, but um, I. You know, I can't say I was super surprised that they did one. Um, <laughs> darn it. <laughs> trying to <laughs> trying to not ruin the surprise at the same time, not just, like, have dead silence, you know. Oh, we got another layer. Hold on. One more. Thoroughly packaged, though. Hey, more microfiber cloths. That's great. I can always use more, even though I... <laughs> I can't... I have so many of these guys. So many. Oh, here we go. What do we have? Yeah, it's a, it's a Chavez. Something pretty cool. So, yes, it's a bunch of crane killer stuff. I don't know what this is, but I'll let you I'll let you guys scan that if you want to. Should I hold it a little bit closer? There we go. Okay. So, what we have here, actually, I'm going to move this because otherwise the camera tries to focus on it, is uh, an Ultramar, um, but... <laughs> It's a special one. It's a really special one. It's funny they it comes it still comes with the other clip, but obviously they're not going to do the other clip with the same special sauce here. How do I get this out without touching it? Yeah. Oh boy. So we actually have a uh, Timascus. It's actually I think it's a Moku tie uh, clip and backspacer. Um, and then uh, beyond that, because there's another element here. This is the version with a kick stop and we have a damascus steel blade. God, that is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, these are obviously more expensive than the standard versions. Oh, that's so nice. So now I <laughs> have three of these now. So I have my kick stop variant, which is the Tanto, right? That's why I picked up because they, you know, he had a uh, uh, Tanto option in damascus steel. And then I have my original without the um, flipper tab, uh, just in like the standard drop point blade. So I thought, yeah, I think I, I'm going to pick up, because I knew I wanted a damage steel one. I love the, the skull clip. I know that some people do, some people don't. I don't really care. I, I bought this for me. Um, but I um, am always a huge fan of, because these are made by Riot. Big fan of Chavez knives, big fan of Riot knives, and I am a huge fan of the exclusives that come through Crane's Cutlery. Even if it's just a couple of little accents, I really like <laughs> the uh, I really like the Mogatai skull clip. That's really really cool, and this is the first time they've ever done this, right? Outside of, I mean, you know, I think uh, it's possible that uh, you know special Zergatai, Mogatai, and Timascus clips have been made for this knife on the aftermarket, but as far as the official ones, this is the first time that they've ever done it. Um, so yeah, and I think by the time you guys are watching this video, it's possible that these will still be available, right? Uh, this is more of a show and tell style video um, in the event that they're not available because it, I, obviously I'm just showing something that's not available, which happens sometimes. A nice polish on this, the damage steel looks beautiful. Uh, yeah, big fan of the pattern, man. That is cool. This uh, this is absolutely my favorite version of this knife now, and part of the reason for picking this up is because I really wanted one to carry and use. And while this guy has made it into my pocket a couple of times, I just have always been a little hesitant to use it. I don't know why, 
Um, but uh, this Kickstop Tanto version, now, you know, I feel like I'm completely free to carry and use. And this one I had switched out the pocket clip um, just to have one with a regular clip. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to carry and use this one. Just see, you know, continue to see how I like it. It's made it into my pocket a few times. But, you know, that's the thing. <laughs> that's the way that uh, people like me justify the carry versions is... You know, first we get it, either with the intention to collect or to carry, right? And then what happens is you like it so much, you're just, uh, and not, not everybody's like this, but I'm like this, right? I'm like, I don't know if I really want to mark this thing up. I know, I'll buy another one so that I can keep one special and then carry the other one, right? Or in this case, I ended up buying three and an ultra special variant so that I could justify carrying one of them. This is an insane thought process but a very, very common one, right? And I think uh, people who really seriously get into knives, if you haven't done this yet, if this behavior uh, is not synonymous with you yet, let me tell you, you will find a knife that will create this behavior in yourself, right? You're sitting there thinking, I would never do that. Knives are meant to be used. <laughs> yeah, you just wait. You just wait until you find one that you can't bring yourself to use, it, right? You'll be eating those words and they will taste... Probably like vinegar and leather boot, I would imagine, right? Uh, but that is, yeah, it's, it's it's just the case, right? I wonder if there's, I don't know that there's really a weight difference between these. I just feel like maybe I should check. I Usually this is where I do like uh, a couple of specs and stats because, you know, it, I mean, even though it's just an, un usually these are unboxing and first impressions, right? I've already reviewed this knife uh, thoroughly and spoiler alert, it's it's really great. Um, but, uh, there's no reason to do a lot of this. Here's the, uh, the original, not the original original, but the 229 thumb stud version. That's 6.53. This is exactly the same. And for some reason, the damage steel and mocha tie version weighs more. Weird. Okay. Uh, perfectly centered. Lockup is, I've never had a Riot with blade play, but the lockup is completely and totally solid. I don't know, is there really anything else that you guys might need to see? I suppose I'll give you a close up of that pattern again. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Damage Steel and the Damage Steel patterns. Not just because, I mean, there's lots of different patterns you can get with Damage Steel, but they just, it's really fun to see like iconic blades come in Damage Steel. It's not for everybody, but to me, it's really, really cool. Look at that. The spine. I've got little eyes there on the spine. Uh, I also like the performance of Damage Steel. It performs like um, CPM 154. Uh, Damage Steel is not the same as regular Damascus, and regular Damascus is not really the same as anything else because it can be made of any two compositions, right? So it's, I shouldn't say regular Damascus. Uh, D Damage Steel is proprietary. It is always RWL34 uh, RWL and PMC27. So if anybody has ever been confused, no, Damascus and Damage Steel are not the same thing. They are not interchangeable. Damage Steel is something specific. Damascus is non-specific, right? I know there's always that guy like way in the back who's like, Oh, Woods is off the, the original recipe for Damascus is actually lost to time, so you can't claim that it's Demet. Yeah, we know. We, we, we got, everybody has access to Google, right? So, yeah, uh, we don't know if we're making Damascus exactly the same way that they did a long time ago, but, I mean, at this point, nobody really cares and everybody's moved on because modern technology has allowed us to create things that are vastly superior than anything from the past. Um, contrary to what the freaking level 100 ninja master wizard might tell you um no uh, it's whatever <laughs> damage steel is different than damascus in that it is it has a proprietary double composition uh it's always the same thing anyways oh i stirred the pot on that one <laughs> I can hear him coming, stampeding. Why I ought to? Metal Complex needs to be taught a lesson. <laughs> Level 100 Ninja Wizards Unite. Here they come. <laughs> Getting their raid group ready. <laughs> Storming the gates. Okay, anyways. <laughs> this is really cool. Make sure you check this out and other exclusives at Crane's Cutlery. I will link Crane's Cutlery right down at the top of the description underneath, underneath this video. 
Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.